The House once again failed to advance legislation to reauthorize a program intelligence officials say is crucial to American national security. The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, is set to expire April 19th if Congress doesn't move quickly. The act gives U.S. intelligence the power to collect information and communications from foreign adversaries who are outside of the U.S. A small group of Republicans blocked the legislation from moving forward Thursday over concerns it doesn't go far enough to protect against collecting intelligence on U.S. citizens. FBI Director Chris Wray defended FISA, also known as Section 702, during a hearing on Capitol Hill Thursday. Failure to reauthorize 702 or gutting it with some new kind of warrant requirement would be dangerous and put Americans' lives at risk. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian joins me now. Nicole, why is FISA so important to the intelligence community? Well, it's part of our national security program and allows, again, the federal government to conduct surveillance, as you mentioned, uh, against foreign adversaries, specifically against foreigners, which is why you heard uh, the FBI director there advocate for it, uh, that it is a critical part of their intelligence gathering purposes. But it is up for reauthorization, and that has been a point of contention among House Republicans about the scope of uh, the intelligence community's powers, FBI's powers, law enforcement powers, uh, when it comes to using this program. So that's why there has been a very robust debate here on Capitol Hill. And give us a little bit more detail on the, on the major criticisms of Section uh, 702, the FISA, and, and the past misuses of it, and why some in Congress uh, tanked the vote on Thursday. Yeah, well, basically, you know, this was a situation where uh, there has been some concerns about potential abuses of the FISA program, uh, more specifically with regard to reauthorizing this legislation. There has been debate over how long it should be reauthorized, but also, again, kind of getting back to that issue of the scope. Yes, it is used to conduct surveillance on foreigners, but at times, if those foreigners are communicating with Americans, then potentially sometimes a American data can get swept up in these surveillance operations, and sometimes that has occurred without a warrant. And so that is kind of that critical nuance of uh, what some lawmakers are pushing for. They want uh, there to be a warrant uh, provision uh, within this legislation uh, so that uh, Americans aren't being spied on in a program that really is designed to spy on foreigners. And finally, what does the path forward now look like for reauthorization? Well, there seems to be a bit of a breakthrough this evening. We know the Rules Committee is meeting to consider a new rule with respect to this legislation. As you referenced, uh, that rule, a previous rule, was tanked earlier in the week by uh, 19 House Republicans who, again, were concerned about the legislation moving forward. Uh, but there have been some tweaks made to uh, the legislation, again, to perhaps uh, sunset this reauthorization in two years instead of five years, which as of now seems to be satisfying some House conservatives. We caught up with Texas Congressman Chip Roy a short time ago. Take a listen to what he told us. We're, we're all working in good faith to try to do it. The two-year uh, time frame is a much better landing spot because it gives us two years to see is any of this working rather than kicking it out five years. They say these reforms are going to work. Well, I guess we'll find out. So as of now, the House is going to try to put this rule up for a vote again on Friday. But uh, there is a bit more optimism this time around, John, that hopefully uh, this legislation could advance so that it can move over to the Senate before that expiration date at the middle of the month. Nicole Killian on Capitol Hill. Thank you, Nicole.